What's going on everyone? It's Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. Gonna be doing a full day of eating video today. Gonna show you all my summer shredding diet, foods that I eat on a typical daily basis while I'm cutting. And I haven't eaten since nine in the morning. It's 2 p.m. right now, so I've been fasted ever since then. And when I'm cutting, I practice something called intermittent fasting. And what exactly this is, is that you pretty much skip breakfast and fast for the first few hours of your day. You can't have your meal until you fasted for 16 hours. So my last meal was around 16, 17 hours or so. I find I find that intermittent fasting just makes my life so much easier. It keeps me more productive, keeps me more focused, and also I'm the type of guy that loves big meals. Two or three big meals to hit my calories for the day. So intermittent fasting is just something that's perfect for me. It just keeps me full and satisfied, which is extremely important. But yeah, there's no magic behind intermittent fasting. It doesn't make you lose any extra fat or anything like that. It's just all personal preference. I just find that it makes dieting a lot easier. But anyways, I already have my first meal of the day. What I have is four whole eggs, and then I got some hot sauce on top and then I also have a cup and a half of oats cooked in water just cooked in the microwave and then after they're done cooking I'll go ahead and put some Splenda and salt mix that all up and then I'll also put a scoop of whey protein in there mix that so it's pretty much just like chocolate proats and I put a banana on top just to, for a little extra flavor and some more carbs so a pretty big meal guys but just keep in mind I'm not gonna be eating for another like five hours or so so this is gonna keep me full until around seven o'clock for my next big meal and yeah I'll have the macros listed right over here. I think this is around like a thousand calories or so, so it'll keep me full for a while. But anyways, my macros for today is gonna be 330 grams of carbs, 210 grams of protein, 70 grams of fat. I know that might seem like a lot of calories. It's around 2,800 on a fat loss diet. However, I've been bulking for a long time. This is my first week of the cut, so I really start my calories at a high spot. And it's already been a few days I've been losing weight fast on this, so it's been great. But anyways, that's gonna be the first meal. I'll catch you guys for meal number two in just a few hours. It's around 6.30 p.m. right now. What I have is my pre-workout meal. I have five chocolate rice cakes, a tablespoon and a half of Jif Whips peanut butter, and then I also have a pre-workout coffee, and that's gonna pretty much wrap up my next meal of the day, and I won't eat till my post-workout meal. I'll be sure to show you guys that in just a few hours. All right, so a little update. I'm actually gonna have a banana as well, along with those five rice cakes with the peanut butter, just because I took three units of insulin for around, what, 60, 70 grams of carbs, but I'm kind of starting to feel like my blood sugar is gonna get low within like 30 minutes or so. I forget how much more sensitive my body becomes to insulin even after just a few days of dieting. So uh, that's kind of my struggles when it comes to dieting with type 1 diabetes. I'm always conflicted with how much insulin to take, especially during the beginning stages. But as I get deeper into dieting, I get more aware of it. So I'm gonna have this banana, no insulin at all, by the way, just to raise my blood sugar up a little bit. Don't wanna go into this workout low, that would suck. Anyways, gonna eat this and I'll catch you guys for the next meal. All right, so I just got back from the gym, made myself a post-workout meal, and check this out, guys. Look how freaking good this meal looks right now. I cannot wait to dig into this, but I have eight ounces of cooked chicken breast, and then I have half a bag of the steamable broccoli with cheddar cheese. I'll be sure to have a video of what I'm talking about, but they're really, really easy to make. They're cheap, around like a dollar and a half, two bucks. You throw them in the microwave for around four or five minutes, and they come out really, really tasty. The macros are incredible on them, pretty low calorie. You would think this 
has a lot of fat, but it's actually pretty low, like a gram and a half per serving. And then I also have these steamable potatoes. So I get these in a little bag. Same thing, it's cheap and it's very convenient, especially if you're a student on the run. You put the bag in the microwave for around seven, eight minutes, and boom, the potatoes are ready to eat. It has around four servings, so I've got two servings right over here, half the bag. And then what I also have on top, check this out, some creamy ranch garlic dressing. So what this is, it's low calorie Greek yogurt dressing. It's called Bolt House Farms. Like I said, I'll also put this in the screen right over here. Incredible macros, tastes so good. I've recently been using those. Makes dieting a lot more satisfying. But anyways, that's my post-workout meal. And I actually made two servings of this entire meal. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'm gonna have the same meal with a little bit less potatoes for my last meal of the day. That's gonna pretty much round off and hit my macros perfectly. So I'll be sure to show you guys the next meal, which is gonna be the same thing. So it's been around an hour and a half. Gonna go ahead and finish off my macros for the day. I'm gonna have the same exact meal, except this is only a serving and a half of potatoes rather than two servings like the previous meal. And then this is just the rest of the broccoli and eight ounces of chicken breast. Like I said, the same thing, just a little bit less potatoes for less carbs. And this will pretty much hit my macros perfectly, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and grub on this and then I'll talk to y'all in just a moment. So that's gonna conclude a full day of eating. I'll put a screenshot of the macros that I hit for the day right over here. And I hit my macros perfectly today, literally spot on to the point. So it's definitely been a successful full day of eating for me. And something that I highly recommend others do, especially when they're cutting, is to create two or three meal plans with foods that you enjoy and foods that are accessible to you every single day that hit your macros spot on to the exact point. And every few days, just switch off between those meal plans just so you have a lot of variety in your diet and you don't get bored. That way it makes it a lot easier rather than having to wake up and just wonder whether or not you're gonna hit your macros and always thinking about your next meal. I think it's just a lot better to already know what you're gonna eat and already know that you're going to hit your macros no matter what. So go ahead, try that out, and let me know what you think, and also experiment with different principles and methods when it comes to dieting. Like for me, implementing intermittent fasting when I'm cutting makes it so much easier for me. So intermittent fasting might be something that you could benefit from, or maybe you're somebody who just needs more flexibility in his or her diet. So you need maybe a little bit less quality foods and just more of those foods that you enjoy. Or maybe you're just somebody who needs more of a whole foods quality-based diet to be successful in your diet. Everybody's different. See what kind of person you are and like I said, just experiment. Take it day by day and try out new things. And hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to count macros, be successful, and you know, get cut. Cutting is an easy thing. You just gotta be consistent with it. Stick to something that you enjoy. Stick to something that works for you and you're gonna succeed. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the full day of eating, my summer shredding, cutting diet. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please be sure to give it a like if you did. Don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's plenty of epic content coming. I'll see you all in the next video.